In this demonstration, let's uh, practice with some input handling. Right, so we have user input handling and uh, what we'd like to address is um, validation. So I'd like to try some input validation. So let's consider simple task which is get non-empty uh, input string uh, from the user. Okay, so let's um, attempt to, to write some code which will guarantee that we're going to get um, non-empty input string from the user. So I'd like to ask the user uh, for um, a non-empty string. So one possibility would be, of course, to write everything here in the main method. But uh, let's uh, consider a uh, separate method, which uh, uh, is pretty well defined. Get non-empty input string from the user. So let's make it public as well. Of course, because it needs to be called from the main method, it also has to be static. So this is a reminder while we're using the static keyword because we're just creating uh, methods where we can write code without worrying of creation of any objects. Soon enough, we will start creating objects to call methods um, that require the presence of objects. Of course, um, uh, this method will return back a string as described. So this is Java string. And the name of the method will be get string. So it's essentially get non-empty string. I would think that uh, we're also going to use a string prompt so that we can tell the user uh, what we are expecting from them to, uh, to input. So in this method, what uh, we need to do, uh, I suppose that uh, we can use the scanner. to start processing user input. And at this stage, we can say import Java util scanner, or we can simply say fix imports. Okay, so fix imports realizes that in Java library, uh, the scanner uh, is defined inside, inside Java util scanner. So it just prompts us for this specific import, specifying location of, of the class um, that we would like to use to handle user input. And system in is a uh, system object which is given to us for free, uh, which is attached to the uh, standard input string. Uh, by default, this is connected to the keyboard input. Uh, however, it could be redirected from a file, for instance. We could be actually getting this input from a file. Uh, depends under what uh, conditions the program was launched. So for now, keyboard is just fine. So this is good. Um, and so the next thing is that uh, we are going to get uh, a string from the user. I will call it result. Okay, so we're going to create a string right here. I can initialize it to an, uh, to an empty string, for example. And in the end, uh, we will return this result from this method. So in this way, what we can do inside the main method, we can expect a string input. I'll call it str, just doesn't matter, right? And uh, we'll say get string. With the prompt enter non-empty string. Okay, so this is uh, convenient uh, to have this uh, prompt um, um, argument uh, for this method. So when we call it, we can already specify generically what we would like the user uh, to see when we call this get string. So this way we can call get string with various types of prompts, anything we like. 
So now uh, let's um, uh, focus on getting a non-empty uh, string input from the user. Supposedly we, we can use um, this uh, result, right, result uh, equals uh, scanner, right? result equals uh, scanner object. Next line. Okay, so this uh, next line uh, method inside the scanner is capable of extracting the entire line from the input until the user hits enter, um, and that should return uh, the entire um, entire uh, string of characters with spaces, or without spaces, doesn't matter. However, the requirement is that we don't want empty strings. We don't want to uh, to have empty uh, inputs. So one possible um, uh, um, handling of this could be we can have a while loop and say as long as result equals empty string, which we'd like to avoid, we will get uh, this to repeat and uh, say result uh, equals scanner uh, next line. So now let's uh, display the prompt. So we can simply say uh, system.out.print print and display the prompt. So what we have so far is uh, we have a pretty simple main method. Uh, we uh, created um, uh, another static method named getString. Uh, we uh, create uh, the scanner object, uh, which is attached to the keyboard. Of course, the new operator in Java uh, cre creates uh, allocates memory for the object, invokes its constructor, which we will discuss in the future. Um, and uh, our type of object is the scanner. So we have this uh, scanner um, uh, reference variable that gets access to this uh, new scanner. And then uh, we start with our loop that basically says as long as result is empty string, notice that uh, it would be wrong to use double equal sign to compare result with empty string. We must use equals, which compares the content of the strings. And as long as it's uh, an empty string, we would like to display the prompt and we would like to uh, uh, to go back to the next line. So let's uh, uh, save this program, uh, which I already have, um, and then uh, we can try running it. So this is my prompt, uh, enter non-empty string. Of course, right now the program is waiting for on this uh, line uh, for the scanner to, to give us um, a, an, a, um, uh, and uh, some input. So I'm just going to hit enter, which is a valid input for the scanner. But for us, you can see um, it repeats uh, right here and says uh, enter non-empty string. So we uh, repeat uh, this prompt. And if we say something like quit, which is not an empty string, it lets us out of this prompt.